Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of UA Eats. I'm UA, and I'm currently in Times Square, arguably the tourist capital of the whole world. Now on this channel, we've covered some local neighborhood spots, but the reason we're in Times Square is because word just got out that just yesterday, Gordon Ramsay opened a restaurant here in Times Square, Gordon Ramsay Fish and Chips. Now, if you followed my channel, you know I'm a bit of a Gordon Ramsay fan. A few months ago, I went to his pub and grill restaurant in Atlantic City, and I had a great time. The food was great, the service was great, it was just a great time in general. However, the one thing that was not great was the fish and chips, and that was surprising to me considering that he's a British chef. That's why I'm surprised that the restaurant he opened here in New York is not a fine dining restaurant or or even a sit-down restaurant, he opened what seems to be a fast casual fish and chips restaurant. Now I love Gordon Ramsay as much as the next guy, but English chef selling fish and chips in Times Square, to me that just screams tourist trap all over it. However, it's early, but so far reviews are actually pretty good. So I decided to head over for part two of is Gordon Ramsay overrated? This time we're gonna try his fast casual restaurant and we're gonna see if he's overrated or if he's legit. Let's go. All right, here we are at Gordon Ramsay Fish and Chips here in Times Square. Uh, you know, I kind of expected for a celebrity chef of his fame, I kind of expected that there would be a bit of a line outside this restaurant, but it really just opened a day or so ago, so I guess word might not have gotten out about it opening yet. We can see by the size of the portrait above that Chef Ramsay has no shortage of ego, as well, of course, of the fact that the restaurant is called Gordon Ramsay Fish and Chips. Honestly, there are a few things that say British food like fish and chips, so whether or not he makes a good fish and chips will say a lot about whether or not he's overrated or if he's legit, so let's go check him out. All right, as you can see, unlike some of his other restaurants, this restaurant is not really a sit-down restaurant. It's really more a fast casual or a fast food restaurant. And uh, to be honest, that kind of makes sense because fish and chips in the UK is really more like a fast food. It's really more like a takeaway food. You know, he's really playing up the British angle. I mean, this is pretty much the most British store I've ever seen. So, so let's get in line. All right, guys, we just got seated and we ordered the fish and chips. Now they also have these naan sandwiches. Now naan, if you're not aware, naan is like an Indian flatbread. So they have these sandwiches that are wrapped in naan. Uh, I find that kind of interesting, so we're gonna try it. Uh, it doesn't really sound very fish and chips like, but hey, maybe it's good. But we also got in the meanwhile, a stiffy, uh, st a sticky toffee pudding shake. Now, if you've seen my last video, uh, Gordon Ramsay's sticky toffee pudding is really, really good. I find it kind of interesting that he has this in shake form. So let's try this while we wait. All right, let's give it a try. Sorry, it's a very thick shake. It doesn't taste bad, it's just very thick. Whoa. It's very sweet. I usually don't like really sweet stuff, but hey, I, I kind of dig that. It really does taste like sticky toffee pudding. You really get that sweet sponge cake and that toffee flavor. Hey guys, if you have a sweet tooth, you'll like this. Anyways, let's wait for our food. All right guys, we just got our food. So let me show you what we got. Now this is the Gordon Ramsay fish and chips and it's looking and smelling pretty good. I kind of wish you guys could smell this with me, but it really has a nice fried batter smell. Uh, it already looks much better than the fish and chips I had at this restaurant in Atlantic City. Uh, that one was, I will be honest, a little bit disappointing, but this already looks great. I mean, honestly, takeout is the perfect format for fish and chips. It's not really a sit down food. So fast food fish and chips really is the way to go. But this just looks beautifully breaded. I kind of like that they impaled this lemon on it for presentation. So yeah, this is looking and smelling pretty good. And this is the chicken witch sandwich between non bread. And this is really interesting. Uh, basically, it looks like a chicken taco, but just with Indian bread instead of tortilla. I'm starving guys, that's enough talk. Let's dig in. All right guys, let's dig in. Whoa, whoa guys, just picking them up. The texture is not at all what I expected. Usually when I pick up fried food, I almost expect them to feel kind of dense because I don't know that friedness makes them really crispy and hard, but this feels like super light. I don't know, it almost feels like tempura batter kind of. And even though, as you can see by my fingers, it's oily, somehow it doesn't feel super heavy to the touch. I don't know how to explain it. Tempura really is the best way. All right, let's try one bite without sauce. 
Honestly guys, I came in here totally ready to like dunk on this place and say it's overrated, say it's in Times Square so it's a tourist trap, especially because I went to Atlantic City and the fish and chips I had in Atlantic City at his restaurant there, eh, I've had better. But guys, this is a really good fish and chips. I really think this is the first time I've had fish and chips that kind of tasted like fish and chips I had in the UK, outside of the UK, of course. Let me hold it up closer. Hopefully you can see that it's fried perfectly, perfect golden brown, but it's not fried greasy. It's not overly oily or heavy. It's not like you're just eating a bunch of crunchy breadcrumbs. It really does resemble tempura more than normal deep frying. And just look at the inside of the fish. Look at how that fish flakes apart like that. That is fresh cod, perfectly fried. Perfect temperature for it to get flaky like that. Mmm. Really good, guys. Really good. Let's try it with one of the sauces. Let's try it with the tartar sauce, which, to be honest, was pretty good at his restaurant in Atlantic City. Dunk. All right. Whoa. Wow, guys. In Atlantic City, the fish and chips there at his restaurant there was only okay, but the tartar sauce was fire. This tartar sauce, also fire. I would say it's a little less rich than the restaurant in Atlantic City, but it's good. I mean, it works well for a fast food takeout fish and chips. Very, very good. Complements the fish really well. Now, I really want to try this sauce. This is what they call mango curry sauce. So, dunk. Oops. And let's try it. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Let's try again. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. I can really tell that Gordon really likes Indian food because that really has like a spice flavor. And I don't mean like it's spicy because it's really not hot at all, but it really tastes like a myriad of curry spices. You taste that turmeric, you taste that garam masala. I'm a Gordon Ramsay fan, so I've seen some of his TV shows where he's traveled the world and he always seems to have a lot of fun in India. So it's interesting that he made like an Indian style sauce, but honestly, guys. Mmm. Oh. But honestly, guys, it kind of pairs perfectly because the fish is kind of more mild. It's kind of more bland, not bland in like a bad way, but it doesn't really have strong, intense flavors, but it's cod. It's not like salmon. It's really like a blank slate fish. It's not like salmon or tuna where it has like a strong flavor. Cod is kind of like chicken, but in the ocean. So it's like a clean slate and to pair it with like some strong curry flavor. Hmm. Oh. I really like that. So far, guys, this food is great. And you know me, you've seen my Peter Luger video. You know I'm always honest. I'll dunk on the food if I have to. But so far, yeah, it's, it's good. Let's try the French fries, or as the British people call them, chips. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, not bad. Oh, thanks. Thanks so much. So far, it's really good. Sounds, sounds good. Thanks, thanks so much. Thanks. Hey, guys, these are some solid french fries. Or, sorry, chips. I forget where. Basically in England, I guess, with all these flags and stuff. But I think these are hand-cut fries. I mean, just look at them. The skin is still on them. They're all different sizes. This actually isn't the first Gordon Ramsay fish and chip shop. There also is one in Vegas and one in Orlando and one in, I think, DC. But I actually read some reviews before I came and people said that the fish was good, but they said that the fries were not that good. The Washington Post even called them airport fries. I don't know. I mean, maybe they heard the feedback and they improved them. I mean, I think these are pretty good. Hmm. I think they're fried in peanut oil. They're not as good as Five Guys Fries. Five Guys Fries are my favorite, then Chick-fil-A, but they kind of taste like Five Guys Fries a little bit. I think these are great. Hmm. Let's do this though. Let's dip them in the sauce. All right, ranch first. Okay, it doesn't really work with the ranch, to be honest. The ranch is a little bit too strong, a little bit too sweet, so I would not recommend dipping them in ranch. It doesn't really work. But let's try the mango curry sauce. Mm. 
Okay, I think the sauces are more designed for the fish. Don't dip the fries uh, or the chips. Don't dip the chips in any of the sauces, but they taste great on their own. Anyways, we have one more item that I want to try. Now, this is what they call a chicken witch, and it's fried chicken sandwiched between naan, Indian flatbread. So, guys, uh, let's give it a try. Hmm. Okay, so the naan sandwich um, isn't my favorite, to be honest. I don't know if I let it sit too long because I guess it is a little bit cold, but um, I don't know. To me, it just doesn't really work. I feel like it kind of tastes more like a gyro than it does like Indian food. This vegetable at the bottom is kind of like coleslaw. I don't know. I mean, it's very common to eat fried chicken and then to eat coleslaw on the side. Combining them together, uh, it doesn't really work for me. Sorry, Gordon. I also feel like you kind of have some competing textures. Like I feel like the naan bread is very soft, but it doesn't really have like a charred naan flavor. It kind of tastes more like pita bread. And then you have the cold coleslaw on the bottom paired with some greasier chicken that's not really seasoned that well. And to be honest, um, this isn't really my favorite. Stick with the fish and chips. After all, this place is called Gordon Ramsay Fish and Chips. It's not called Gordon Ramsay Non Sandwich or Gordon Ramsay Gyro slash coleslaw slash fried chicken. So yeah, stick with fish and chips and you'll have a good time. I'm at least going to finish this last piece of fish before we go. Mmm. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, just like guys, the fish is all gone. I ate it all. It's in here. I have a whole lot of fries left, but we're gonna take a bit of a break and eat these slowly. I guess before we go, we need to answer that multi-million dollar question. The question that we came here to answer, is Gordon Ramsay overrated? Now, I will be completely honest, the naan sandwich was, it was kind of forgettable, so that wasn't great, but this place specializes in fish and chips, so I should mostly judge the star dish here and less the other items on the menu. And I gotta say, guys, that fish and chips was amazing, was to die for. So I gotta say, in this video, Gordon Ramsay, not overrated. Come here, try these fish and chips for yourself. Really good. Some of the best fish and chips I've had outside of the UK. If you're in Times Square, definitely check it out. But then again, that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Have you guys eaten at Gordon Ramsay Fish and Chips in New York City? Let me know in the comments. Or if you've eaten at any other locations, whether in Las Vegas, whether in Orlando, or whether in Washington, DC, let me know in the comments if you've had Gordon's Fish and Chips and let me know how they are. Anyways, guys, I have a whole lot of french fries to finish and a whole milkshake so i'd like some alone time with my food if you like my videos make sure you like and subscribe that way you stay up to date whenever i post another video until next time i'll see you later now serving guest 219